Hey friends, welcome back. Today I've got a packing video on what we are packing for our two night trip to Great Wolf Lodge as a family of four. If you're new around here, I do hope that you find this video useful and you enjoy it. And if you do, consider hitting the subscribe button to be part of the family. We would love to have you. If you are new and you don't know us, my name is Tiffany. I am the mother of two little ones. I'm married to Will. Our kids are Jackson, age six and a half, and Alice, almost five. And we are going to Great Wolf Lodge for two days in Mason, Ohio. So we did this last spring as well. I will link a video to how we budget for a frugal, friendly trip. We are very blessed and grateful that my in-laws give us a gift card that covers two nights stay as long as we book at least 60 nights in advance and get the discounted rates. So we will be going for a Sunday through Tuesday. I'm going to show you the clothing items and the miscellaneous stuff that we're bringing along. When I was searching for what to take to Great Wolf Lodge because we had never been, I couldn't find anything. So I made the video last year. This year's is going to be very similar with um, some differences, but for those of you, I've had a lot of new subscribers since then. So I just wanted to make sure I had an updated video on what we're packing for Great Wolf Lodge. All right, so I've got all of our clothing pulled out for the four of us. Each column here is going to be for each person. So in the top row, starting, we've got Alice, Jackson, myself, and my husband. But I've just got one outfit with... Uh, the kids each have a long sleeve hoodie or zip up to go over it. But the kids each have a pair of shorts and a short sleeve shirt underwear, socks, a hoodie, and then an extra pair of underwear just in case. I have got um, underwear, a t-shirt, and a pair of capri yoga leggings just to lounge around the hotel in. And then for my husband, he has a t-shirt, a pair of shorts, and then socks and underwear as well. In the second row, we've got bathing suits for everyone. Alice has two rash guards with bottoms and one cover-up down here. I thought the cover-up would be nice for her to wear back and forth between the hotel room and the pool. We got it for like $2 at a consignment shop recently, so she wanted to bring that with her. Jackson has two rash guards and two pair of shorts, so each of the kids have two complete swim sets. I have my one bathing suit and my husband has one pair of swim trunks. In the bottom row we've got pajamas because at Great Wolf Lodge they do story time at night for the kids. Typically my kids don't sleep in pajamas but Alice brought a nightgown. Jackson has some minion PJs. I've got just a sleep shirt and then my husband has his sleep pants. So that is all we're bringing for clothing. Back here I do have our beach towels. There's four of them here. And then I've got a toiletry bag that is not completely done. I've still got like toothbrushes and stuff that need to go in there and contact solution and stuff like that, but just your basic toiletries. Instead of just staring at the table, I figured I'd flip this around and speak to you one-on-one, -on -one. but the towels we are bringing, because even though the water park provides towels for you, they're really small, um, and I don't think you're supposed to leave the water park with them. So walking back to the hotel room, you're shivering and dripping wet. So we like to bring our own towels for that. We brought them last year and it worked out really well. Plus they're bigger to just wrap completely around you. And so that was nice. Our toiletries are just basic things like I am bringing a travel shampoo and conditioner because I don't always like the brand that the hotel provides. Uh, my daughter's hair is very difficult to brush through. Uh, we've got toothbrushes and toothpaste, contact solution, we've got face lotion because the chlorine dries my face out extremely bad. And then I do have just some cover up and like eye mask, eye makeup just because if we go to dinner or something I just want to make sure I have something there. But toiletries we are bringing just the basics. The main thing that we're going to be bringing is going to be food and snacks because we budgeted for one dinner on site so we will be ordering pizza and breadsticks one night that we're there and we may get ice cream or a sweet treat from one of the little uh like restaurants or something while we're there but let me pack this up and then once i get the food going i'll show you what we're bringing for that okay so the bag i'm using is this bigger bag from 31 i've had it for a long time and i actually don't remember which style it is but it has a bunch of pockets around the sides it's bigger than the small utility tote i know that so it might just be like a bigger utility tote so i'm gonna go ahead and pack this up you're my music, but you tear me to pieces, so where does it come from? Okay, and now, so it's the next day actually, but this is all of our like shelf-stable food that I can pack now uh, before bringing the cold food that we will be bringing. So I still have the towels back there, but I already mentioned those. This has our GoPro and accessories and charger in it, so we can take that into the water park. This is the case that the camera that I'm holding will go into, as well as the charger for that. We've got the kids' iPads and chargers. 
Will and my iPhone charger. And then as we get into food and like food accessory type things, we've got a loaf of bread, a container of peanut butter. I will pack jelly when I pack the cooler. We got some sweet plantain chips, one can of SpaghettiOs for the kids to share with two bowls, one box of juice boxes. We've got some tortillas, both for the kids and Will, and then myself, I have low carb ones. This container here has a bunch of stuff. So there's like four bags of chips. We've got some cereal bars, some fruit snack type things, some honey buns. There's pop tarts back there. So just a bunch of random snacks. If we get hungry between meals, the kids wanted to bring some peanut butter crackers, so we've got that. We've got a garbage bag for the way home to pack all of our wet clothes. And then we've got some apples and bananas here. We've got a big stack of paper plates for when we eat tacos, a butter knife for the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and then some spoons, because I will be bringing like yogurt, and then the kids have their spaghettios and stuff. So there is the stuff that doesn't need to go in the cooler. So the tote I'm using for that stuff is another 31 tote. This uh, holds quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and start packing that. And there we go. Everything fits. You may have noticed I did not pack the electronics. Those are going to go in a separate electronics backpack just because I had little pockets to hold everything all together and I forgot to bring it downstairs. But those will be put in a separate little backpack. And this is the electronics backpack I was speaking about. I will leave a link down below if you'd like to see what we use. I'm gonna go ahead and pack everything in here. Also, these braided cables for the iPhone and I Apple devices, I got these on Amazon. It was like a four pack, and I'll leave that link. We love these, and they've taken the place of the cables that came with our devices because those tend to fall apart after a while. And all set. And here is the refrigerated stuff, or stuff that's going in my soft-sided cooler. We've got some taco cheese, jelly for the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, salsa for the tacos, this is sour cream for the tacos, a big container, this is my Pampered Chef rice cooker, but this has the taco meat in it. It's already cooked and seasoned and ready to go. And then a variety of yogurts here. I moved the camera rather than my hand, sorry. Uh, we've got some, four go-gurts for the kids, these mix-ins and flips for the kids, and then just some cupped yogurts for both the kids and I. So the kids and I all like yogurt quite a bit. Will doesn't eat yogurt, but that will be going into the cooler. Everything we need for two days at the water park. All right, friends, that's what we've got for you today. Hopefully you found some of the tips on this packing video helpful if you are going to Great Wolf Lodge yourself. But we are about to hit the road. We will be vlogging this weekend, so you will see those as well. But until next time, we will see you later. Bye.